back in the saddle again guys here we go okay so hey guys um today i'm going to be filming a paranormal story time this is the first story time video that i've ever filmed so cut me some slack if it's like not as um i don't know exciting as you would have hoped so i've lived in the same house for 19 years of my life for as long as i can remember i've lived here and as far back as i can stretch in my memory i can remember weird things happening which is really strange because my dad and my uncles actually all built this house themselves so right from the ground it was built and there's no like ancient indian burial grounds or anything like that in the area so i don't know it's weird so yeah i've lived here my whole life and i have like a million and a half stories about this house alone uh, but the one that i'm gonna start with is the farthest back that i can actually remember so i was probably like four or five years old maybe six i really don't know when the time frame of this was i just know that it happened and it was so like huge for me <laughs> that it was something that stuck in my memory until this day like we kind of think that it's my dad's dad who is the one that's present in our house but there's no 100 percent sure about it i mean we have some of his old things like i have his guitar and there are some other things of his within the house <sighs> the dogs are gonna bark so we do have some of his stuff here and it has been completely like It has been completely... I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. So it has been said by a whole bunch of different people how the house that my poppy, which is what I used to call him, the house that my poppy used to live in actually is haunted. He used to have like a workshop down in the basement and there is said to be noises heard from the workshop. Um, there were instances where my grandma actually still lived in that house and there were things that happened so yeah it's said that he haunts that house and we kind of think that he's here as well just because of the time frame of things happening and it sounds really weird but like the style like nothing is it doesn't feel evil it just feels like kind of like oh hey i'm here like you know like still around type of thing so this particular thing took place in the living room upstairs in my house and we used to have this big wall unit and it had like the TV on it and it had like cupboards underneath. I think my dad actually made it. It had like cupboards underneath where we used to put like N64 games and like VHSs and stuff. So anyway, it was pretty cool. When it was upstairs, we actually had a stereo system on it and it was this big like old thing like with like so many buttons like why did anybody need that many buttons then like a spot to put like tapes in it was really old and it was it had like two huge speakers that like wouldn't fit on the same shelf as the actual consoles they were like underneath so i can remember one day we were all sitting in the living room and uh, it was so horrifying it was horrifying um i actually think that's where my fear of like loud noises has stemmed from so we're all sitting there and the radio actually just like turned itself on and it used to like light up like where um where the little bars for like the fm and the am like to show you like where you are like on the little line thing i don't know if you were looking for a specific station you would know to stop because you have like the little dials you know everybody knows what i'm talking about so it would light up behind that like an orange color and i can just remember it turned itself on one night when we're all like sitting there watching tv it turned itself on and like it was just whipping through all the stations and the volume was absolutely to the fullest the highest volume possible it was the scariest thing that has ever happened i remember just always worrying that it was gonna happen again being so freaked out to be in the living room near the system it would like go off when i was right beside it and like blow my eardrums out it was horrendous it was the scariest thing ever recently actually like i kind of brought it up to my mom because like we kind of talk about stuff like that she's not 100 percent as willing to talk about it as i am i brought it up to my mom and she was like oh god she was like yeah that thing used to do that all the time and i can remember like 
ugh, it just, it was so horrifying. It was just like, I can still feel the fear like in my chest. So anyways, guys, that is the oldest paranormal story that I have. I think I'm just gonna go by like the time frame of when things happen, map it all out for myself, and I'll just continue doing stories like this. I hope you guys liked it. Have a wonderful day. I um, hope that you like paranormal story time videos because they're a coming. That's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So yeah, okay, bye.